Today we're at Dream Machines of Texas to install a set of high-performance Pathfinder LEDs on this 1994 Honda Goldwing GL1500. The Pathfinder LED system is going to give your Goldwing a modern LED look. These bulbs outperform stock halogen bulbs. And it's a plug-and-play system. You can install it yourself. You're going to see better, increase your visibility to other drivers, and because LEDs require less power, there's less draw on your battery. Although they're not included in this kit, you should consider the optional T10 LEDs so that your accent lights will have a bright LED light to match your headlights. It's always a good idea to disconnect your motorcycle battery before continuing with any electrical work. Raise the windshield tension levers on both sides. By folding the rear view mirror backward, you can now release the trim piece and gain access to the windshield garnish screws. Here you can see the small Phillips screw that holds the windshield garnish in place. Using a Phillips screwdriver, remove the screw on each side of the windshield garnish. Be careful not to drop the screw or the washer down into the shelter. With both screws removed, you can now carefully lift off the chrome garnish and set it aside. There's a Phillips screw on each side of the chrome trim piece that holds it in place. Go ahead and remove these, being careful not to drop the screws down into the shelter. With these screws removed, you can now remove the chrome trim piece. Remove the Phillips screws that hold each of the turn signals in place. There's no need to disconnect the turn signals, just let them hang down and out of the way. Remove the chrome vent cover by removing the two Phillips screws that hold it in place. You will notice there are four 10 mm bolts that secure the headlight assembly to the bike. Using a 10 mm socket and a ratchet, remove the two top bolts from the headlight assembly. You'll notice that the top bolts are a different color and design than the bolts in the bottom. Now it's time to remove the two bottom bolts. As you remove the last bolt, make sure to hold your hand over the headlight assembly to prevent it from falling out. Notice that the two lower bolts are threaded to hold the chrome vent cover in place. With the bolts removed, you can now carefully lift the headlight assembly away from the motorcycle. Now, the assembly is connected by a single power connector to the motorcycle. You can leave that in place for now. Notice the two connectors that go to the back of each headlight bulb. I'm going to remove these headlight connectors while I have the assembly in this position because I feel like I have a little more leverage. Uh, you just wiggle these and they'll pull right off. They can be a little tight sometimes, so just work with them and they'll come out. Now, you could also do this once you have the headlight assembly off the motorcycle and on the ground. Now, here you can see the main power connector that goes to the motorcycle, and this is what's holding the assembly in place. We're going to go ahead and remove that. There's a small tab you press in and then lift up on the connector. You'll notice that each bulb is surrounded by a rubber boot. Pull the small tab at the top of the rubber boot to lift it out of place. Now I'm only demonstrating how to do this on one of the headlight bulbs, but make sure you repeat the process for both sides. With the rubber boot removed, you can now see the spring clip that actually holds the headlight bulb in place. 
To release the spring clip, press down firmly and pull towards you. Now in this case, I'm holding the headlight assembly with the top facing me. You can see it swings out of the way and then you can remove the bulb. There are three main components to your Pathfinder LED. There's the LED itself. At the back, you'll see a heat sink. And then there's also the LED driver. Before we do the installation, we must remove the driver by unscrewing the cable and separating it. Remove the heat sink by unscrewing it from the back of the LED and then pulling it over the cable. Don't remove the white thread lock material from the threads. The LED will only fit one way into the headlight assembly, so just replace it as you would a normal headlight bulb. You secure the LED just like any light bulb. You want to use the spring clip pressed down firmly and lock it into place. Now slip the heat sink over the cord and screw it to the back of the LED and make sure to tighten it firmly. Now reconnect the two ends of the LED driver cable. They're keyed so they'll only fit together one way and then screw them together. Now connect the three-prong plug to the receptacle on the headlight assembly. When we reinstall the headlight assembly, we're going to feed the LED driver and cables through these openings that lead to the turn signals. The first step is to reconnect the white power plug that connects the motorcycle to the headlight assembly. Now we can start feeding these LED drivers and cables through those openings that lead to the turn signal area. This takes a little bit of time and that's why I'm showing you the entire process because I want you to know how much time it takes to be patient and feed these cables through these openings and get everything all lined up. So be patient and it will fit. Occasionally you'll find the headlight assembly may not go all the way back into the uh, fairing and so you have to kind of look back there and see what's stopping it and move some wires or connectors around uh, to get everything to go back into place. Now once uh, everything's back in place you can then reinstall the two top bolts and tighten those and the two bottom bolts. There's four 10 millimeter bolts. You'll install all four of them and tighten them, but don't over tighten. Just make sure they're firmly tightened. Reinstall the chrome vent cover by tightening the two Phillips screws. Double-sided adhesive tape can be used to secure the LED driver to the inside of the fairing or you can use simple cable ties. Now let's reinstall the turn signals using the Phillips screws. With the turn signals reinstalled, the next piece is the chrome trim. And now we can reinstall the uh, windshield garnish. Now we can realign those mirror trim pieces and get those in place and reattach the rubber boot uh, if we remove to make sure to pop the mirror back forward so it's in place. And don't forget to lower those windshield tension levers. 